Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? We're back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Obviously, we are back from our London trip for the Warzone Mobile Summit. We got some content coming at you guys pretty soon. Can't say when, but definitely keep your eyes out for that and make sure to subscribe if you do want to see that in the future. But obviously, the thing at hand right now is the newest attachment in Call of Duty Mobile that turns the M16 into a fully automatic weapon for the first time ever. I haven't gotten to use it yet. I actually unlocked the attachment while I was sitting in the airport on the way home, but I wanted to give it a try and give you guys some thoughts on it and maybe how to build it out. Let me know what you guys have thought of it so far as obviously a lot of you have probably unlocked it as well, but without any more talking, we'll go ahead and hop in the action. <laughs> So we are going to be rocking with the M16 Heavy Duty, and obviously the first attachment we're going to need to go ahead and throw on is the Wildfire Perks. As you guys can see, switches to fully automatic fire does decrease the fire interval and does decrease some of your body multipliers. That was kind of expected, especially given if it was just straight full auto from what the M16 was previously, it'd be broken. Now, if we take off all the attachments, go ahead and compare this sucker. Can I compare it to the M2? What the frick? Is this full stats for the EM2? I didn't know we were getting this already. Do people know we can do this? Okay, well, that gets me excited, but the one I wanted to compare it to is going to be the default Kilo. So as you guys are going to see right here, it does have a slower rate of fire than Kilo. Pretty much the same movement speed, pretty much the same sprint speed, and pretty much the same ADS time as well. So a lot of it's going to come down to damage. You guys are going to see up at the top right, right here, the M16 does have significantly better bullet spread accuracy. That So that's going to be a big W. And we're still going to be capable of three-shotting with the M16 on full auto, but it's not going to be nearly as easy as it was was previously you are going to need two chest shots or one headshot in order to lock that three shot in and obviously those are not really easy lethal zones to hit fortunately that does extend out to 20 meters and because we have really good bullet spread accuracy we can basically build fully for range and mobility i think we are going to want an extended mag on there so we'll throw on the 39 round owc tack laser for me is still going to be a no-brainer now the one big downside i would say is the iron sights are not very good on the m16 however the fact that we're already using one whole weapon slot just to make it full auto i feel like we can't really justify it i feel like we want a decent combination of both range and mobility so i'm actually going to go with the mip light barrel and because the m16 is one of the guns that does still have that 25 percent damage range with the monolithic that'll be our final attachment we'll see what we can do hives have not gotten nerfed yet but they are getting nerfed soon so i'm gonna still use them while i can all right, first looks right here. Like I mentioned, our iron sights are not going to be great. Curious what the level of this lobby is going to be. I mean, it's not the worst iron sight in the world. Like, it could be worse. It could be the Krig. We're going to make do with what we've got right now. Obviously, not crazy fast our ADS speed, identified. but I am glad that I opted to go Mr. with the Cole monolithic Spiker. suppressor instead of the, uh, or rather, the short barrel. Is that guy still up there? I don't think that he is. All right, we got to focus up right here. All right, wow, that was actually pretty fast time to kill. Obviously, it seemed like we hit pretty much all of our shots right there, but oh, a little triple? This thing is definitely beaming right now. They're not gonna expect this. Okay, this actually shreds. Why does it feel like this shoots faster than the kilo? Maybe it's just my perception right now, and maybe it's the fact that the bullet spread accuracy is that good, but this thing absolutely shreds. We'll say we are going up against some sweaty opponents. So we got to focus up right now. We maintain spawns. That's a W for us. Trophy goes down and we sit here and lock things down. All right. Trying to flank. Make it two. Oh, no slide for you. Not today. Not today. He's trying to push. Oh my God. This is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. Like, looking at the stats, I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but this might be better than the Kilo? I'm still trying to figure out why it feels so good. Like, obviously, we're pretty consistently poor tapping, and with the rate of fire being what it is, it shouldn't feel as amazing as it does, and maybe I'm just, like, misremembering how good the Kilo is or whatever it is, but I'm going to be toxic. Took down some hives. Don't shoot at me. Please, nobody be up here. Question is, do I want to play for streaks? Do I want to play for the hard point? I think we play for streaks for right now. No, I'm the person he shoots there. Enemy. I mean, we're straight beaming with this thing. This feels really good. And this is like without a red dot as well. So I'm kind of thinking 
could it be worth it to run a red dot? Obviously, visibility is not everything, but I don't think there are any M16 skins that have good iron sights. With that being said, I'm pretty sure they're about to drop a legendary one. So if I had to guess, that one's probably going to have good iron sights, and that'll probably be our go-to. Easy read. Oh my gosh, this thing... I don't know if they nerfed the rate of fire. I'm I'm curious if uh, if stats on duty have looked at that because it feels like this still shoots at the same rate of fire. Dang it, team! I trusted you. I was saying it definitely still feels like this is shooting at the same rate of fire as the M16 without the attachment. I could be wrong. All right, he's gonna be coming out this way. No. I knew it. Oh, I gunned him. Oh, I almost got his teammate. What am I doing? How am I winning these? Okay. All right. Feeling good, team. Feeling good. That guy's going to be working heady up there. Beam him. Oh, my beam. All right. UAV. Big, big, big. Hive even bigger, to be honest. All right. And not risking anything right there. I think that guy's trying to chase me. Not a huge fan of that. There's one up here. He doesn't have any headphones. That's unfortunate for you, Bristol. And you don't have headphones either. Anybody else? Oh, crook it up! No, he's one shot! All right, well, this is feeling absolutely phenomenal to me. Like, like I said, you guys let me know what, how you're feeling about it and everything. My expectations were not super high with initial impressions, just like looking at the stats, but the way that it plays seems to be very, very different, so... No more kinetic for you. Bye bye. Somebody's back here. He didn't know I was here. A e e e UAV. That's two guys left. One dead. Get the other. Get the other. Thank you for the assist. Oh my gosh, there's more. I got him. Come on, team. They've got an annihilator. Go, 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 go. Kind of, we have spawns. Why did it spawn me right there? That was weird. This is uh, a little bit closer than it needs to be. I was ready for you. I was ready. Huge. I'm going to save the hives. Hive it up. Hive it up. Oh. Okay, it's okay. The hives stay. The hives stay. W. He's got his kinetic, but I don't think kinetic's going to save him from hives either. We got a teammate in the hard point. We should be able to win this. It's going to be tough for them to make this rotation. Oh, we take down the purifier. Huge. Oh, big damage. Come on, team. Oh, huge push right here. We got to win these. One, two. Yes. I think I'm alive. Yes. That's the break. That's the break. I'm here. Oh, another kill. UAV, guys. Let's go. OBJ Bobby to the rescue. All right, guys. I was really impressed with the M16. I think it feels absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, let me know you guys' thoughts on it down below. But the build feels really good, too. So... I'm excited to use it on stream tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and we'll see you guys in the next one.